helping them adapt and helping them actually be successful. That's always been my goal. I actually have a, a friend who owns both an SE, like a massive Inc. 500 fastest growing or Inc. 5000 um, fastest growing agency and also owns a law firm. Many of you guys will know him. And uh, I remember he was telling me he was trying to send leads to his dad, who was also a lawyer and was, but was like, you know, 30 years, his senior. And he said his dad had grew up in an era where like the entire business was driven by referrals and it only had referrals. So they sent him a lead on like Friday at noon and they called the person back like Monday because they don't work weekends. And so they were like Monday afternoon, they got back and they were like, man, like these leads are terrible. Nobody answers the phone. And it was, you know, like, but if you think about it from the, the, the potential client's perspective, they're not sitting around waiting for three days going, well, I hope this lawyer on Google yeah, right. eventually calls me back. Right? Get that. <laughs> and so, you know, I love that you guys are bridging the gap and giving, you know, people that instant gratification in the best way you um, you can do that. I don't know if I have any more questions for you, but do you have any thoughts you kind of just want to share about some, some cool stuff? Well, I, mean, up I, I would just say like, I, this event was the most amazing thing. I, you know, I am, I'm not, uh, I'm not a master of ceremonies by any <laughs> means anyone's ever seen me speak, but I, I love the, what we're doing because we're really partnering with people and to see the different varieties of things that people are using the platform for, yeah. it just blows my mind. And just, it, it, I've just, it's just been such an incredible honor um, to do what we're doing, but the way we're doing it so important, right? Because we're really changing the lives, not of only of our partners, our customers, but also their customers, right? right? Being able to help that, uh, you know, elderly lawyer who still is in the game, who still wants to be successful, who still wants to, you know, do those things, helping them adapt and helping them actually be successful. That's always been my goal. We wanted to help small businesses at the outset. And if you just focus on the, on, on the nurture and the close aspects, I mean, you can just do so many amazing things for people's personal lives and small businesses are the engines of our economy. They pay better than on average. They they're better stewards of their community. I mean, they're, they're the people you want to support. They're innovative too, right? I mean, most big companies don't have a big incentive to take risk. So, you know, if you don't make electric cars and you make gas cars, trying to move to electric seems risky. So you don't do it, right? It takes yeah. a small business to come along and say, hey, we should all be driving electric, right? And really make that happen and make it come into the world. And other people do those things in very small ways and some in very big ways. But if they don't have you to help them do that, they will not be successful because they're not masters of marketing and masters of, of nurture and clothes and all of those things. They're masters of electric cars or, you know, lawyers or whatever, whatever, right? Or medicine. Or whatever, and yeah. you are there to help accelerate them. And I just love that we're part of that journey. Um, and I, I just, it's great to be here. Yeah. I'm assuming there's going to be a second one, right? Like I'm assuming this isn't the first yeah. one and done. Well, I mean, you know, again, it's all about our customers, but what I heard from, uh, from our customers um, is that they loved it and that it was awesome. And, and, and most importantly, it was exactly what I wanted. It wasn't about us. It brought them together. It allowed them to connect. It allowed them to, to meet their heroes and in, uh, in the spears that we brought in, people yeah. that are just, you know huge titans. But it was a small enough event that they could all connect and shake their hand. If you want to meet Frank Kern and shake his hand, or if you want to you know meet Steve Sims and shake his hand, you want to meet yeah. Billie Jean and shake his hand. I'm not, I'm name dropping, so I apologize for that. But I mean, if name you want to drop away, my man. Uh, this is what we we put this event on for, and we'll absolutely have another one. Yeah, that's huge. Um, yeah, I think as well too, because you have the the kind of product where, like I said, it's like Lego. It's not like when you take Lego out of the box, what is it? It's whatever the fuck you want Lego to be, right? Totally. Because of that, I imagine there's a lot of just like, holy shit, you can use Lego for that. I had no idea. Like yeah. just people seeing what's really possible and and some of the cool, more advanced. Like I've seen people build entire outreach systems using high level where they're multi-channel where the, the business owner gets a, a, an automated voicemail and says, Hey, I'm interested. And then they receive an email and then they get a text message suddenly from this person. And then that person is connected on LinkedIn and all of that happens with automation at scale. And it's a, you know, it's a much more intelligent way. Of, and then you see stuff like that. You're like, Holy shit. I had no idea you could do that with Lego. Right. Exactly. Exactly.